on these DC solar light trailers, uh, solar generators. Uh, one of the common problems here we have is a temperature sensor and it's very common they'll have a fault or the temp sensor will read incorrectly um, and you can view that here in meters and we'll go up to compact meters which is a set of meters that shows uh, multiple points of data and if you scroll through here you got it right here 0.7 degrees Celsius, I believe that's around uh, 30, 33, 30, 33 degrees, something like that Fahrenheit. And that's correct for now, but that can be shown there. If it's way off, if it's 70 degrees Celsius, then um, then there's a problem there. And there will usually be a fault. One of the quick ways, if you've got a fault, you've got an exclamation point down here. Um, the quickest way to gain access to the current faults or warnings is pushing the escape and the up arrow at the same time. And right now there's no fault, so it's empty. And that's uh, just one thing that we run into all the time, uh, make it pretty quick and easy to replace. And it runs from the battery here up to the inverter in the front. I'm gonna show you what we do. It's a common thing we change out on all these so we'll stick uh, take the old one there and cut it at the loom and then run a new one. Make sure you get it at the center of the battery. Fasten it down so it's not bouncing around. And you run it underneath here. Take off this panel. Run it up, make you a new hole. Just put split loom you get at the autumn bottom store. You run it up here to the inverter, take the cover off. And it's this plug here. You'll see the temperature sensor wires. Unplug this. You can just unscrew those two terminals. And what uh, what we've done here is cut the old one and attach the new one to it. Otherwise, it's kind of difficult to to pull it through. Gets a little lube on there and feeds it through the grommet. Just like that. And you can remove the tape and put your new sensor in there. You'll have a bunch of excess because they come from SMA a lot longer than needed. And you just fold that up, wire tie it, and stuff it in the corner there. Make sure you shut the inverter down when you're doing all this. Disconnect the power. And that's it. Reattach your terminals and plug it in. And you can restart it. Just like that. Put a zip tie on it. Throw it up in there. Call it a day.